Hey, I was Brian Lord. Welcome to 2017, a grand new year for us on Rome Total War and our channel in general. And welcome to our next playthrough. The people have spoken. You may have seen our uh, vloggy vlog that I posted before Christmas. And yes, the Seleucids have won on the Europa 270 BC map. So we will be playing as the Seleucids on very hard, very hard. And we will likely get our butts kicked. But in the case that we don't, then we won't get our butts kicked. So, I know that that sounds pretty, uh, pretty stupid. Okay. Anyway. So, first thing you might notice as we uh, come down here as the Seleucids is that uh, we got a pretty big looking empire here. How many regions do we start with? We start with 27 regions. Holy cow, that's a lot. But only start getting about 4,000 income per turn profit, which is not so good for 27 regions. Uh, gonna be hard to recruit and upkeep units if we're only getting that much money. Uh, we start with a lot of uh, a lot of our cities in the east here start as actual eastern cities, so we get a little bit of culture penalty, which is not so great. And uh, pretty much start with the same garrison of three levy pikes, Peltas, and militia cab everywhere. Um, we have a couple generals, Alexander up here. In Bactria, we got we got our old faction leader here in Babylon, and we have Demetrius over here in Antioch, and I believe Alexander over here in Sardis. So our big threats um, are Egypt. Egypt's probably our biggest threat. With uh, Egypt controls this territory here. Uh, directed to the south of us, as well as Salamis and a lot of the territory down in here. So Egypt is a big issue for us to deal with. Um, Pontus is up in here, but they have some rebel territory to fight through before they get to us. And uh, Armenia is here. Armenia is a direct neighbor starting out, but they start decently far away, so it'll take them a while to actually engage with us. And same with Parthia, they kind of start up here. Those are our big four threats, much like in the, the, the normal map. Just, uh, it's... A little bit different on this map, obviously. So our first order of business is, uh, oh yeah, a couple of our armies with our family members start with a, unit, a good unit of Phalanx Pikemen as well. Just for some extra beef. But uh, one of our first uh, orders of duty is going to be just uh, managing our economy and figuring out what we want to do with that. Uh, now, I've been coming up with a game plan. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go all out against Egypt first. Uh, since Egypt is going to be our biggest problem, they're the biggest nation we're fighting. They start with quite a bit of territory, probably like 10 to 12 regions. Um, what I want to do first is hit their territory here in Asia Minor, take over Asia Minor, take over Salamis, and then start just ramrodding them down in here. And taking over all of Egypt is going to be my initial goal. And that gives us a good separation. Um, Egypt's pretty secure once we get all of it. So that'll be nice, and that'll give us a strong front in case the Greeks attack. Uh, we can defend ourselves pretty well there. And these are some really nice regions in here. So you can see, look at the trade at Sardis here. It's pretty good already. So we do want to keep these settlements. They're definitely very profitable for us. Um, yeah, and they're, they're quite weak if we don't act soon, because Egypt has a few settlements here. They might attack us right at the gullet. So, uh, first order of business in order to facilitate that is those, our capital is actually over here, Seleucia in Mesopotamia. This is actually our starting capital. I'm going to actually move that to Antioch. That'll be more a closer a closer capital for our western territory. And now it's going to make a lot of our eastern territory quite upset, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. Uh, much of this much of this first episode here is going to be. Um, just kind of setting up our original, setting up our region, figuring out what we want to do, getting our initial goals set up, because we are such a big region, so it's different than most campaigns. Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of territory that has these eastern temples in it as well, which is not good for our culture penalty. So we will want to swap those out. I'm trying to think, what's the best way to do this? Because Persepolis is a city. This is not a very happy city. Um, Oh yeah, I should, I should go over the... Before we get into 
city building and all that, I should go over the Seleucid unit roster in case you guys are not familiar with the Seleucids. Um, we go up to large cities like all Greeks. And we actually get, unlike most Greeks, we get level 5 barracks and stables. So we have actually a wide variety of units. Which hot blights, lovely pikes, phalanx pikemen, silver shield pikemen, and silver shield legionnaires. So most of pikemen are pretty solid uh, little phalanx units. Pretty good tier 1 units, honestly. They can fight off a lot of other tier 1s. Definitely better than like Town Watch and so forth. But they die to other heavier phalanx units and... Heavy, heavy armored units give them trouble. Levy pikemen are not too much greater individually. Each individual man is not too much better. But uh, we have a, they're a unit of 240. They have a little bit better morale. And uh, their spears are longer because they're phalanxes. As opposed to uh, pikemen. Or as opposed to hoplites which have the shorter spears. Um, in their phalanx form, pikemen have those longer spears. So they can be much more effective. Phalanx Pikemen are kind of just an upgrade, uh, just a little bit more attack power and a good chunk more armor. Uh, more, a little bit more shield and more armor for the most part. And Silver Shield Pikemen are very elite versions of our Pikemen with very good stats all around. And then Silver Shield Legionnaires, which are at our huge city, are actually um, pretty much a one-to-one -one copy of the Roman Legionary Cohort unit. Pretty much a one-for-one -one copy of that unit, so... Pretty good. Pretty good. Indeed. Uh, if we ever get to that point to be able to train them, definitely worth training. Especially because uh, Pikemen plus Legionnaires is a pretty good flexible army composition. So if we look at our stables, we got, uh, again, four levels of stables. And you see, you can already see already some of the interesting stuff we have in here. Uh, we start off with some Militia Cavalry, which are, uh, you know, standard Javelin Cavalry. Not too bad. And then we have Greek Cavalry, our Tier 2, which are just... <laughs> <clears throat> That's what I think of Greek cavalry. I mean, just just look at the stats. <laughs> look at the stats. Compare them to militia cavalry. It's like you might as well just train militia cavalry, and never Greek cavalry, which is pretty much what I'm gonna do. Uh, Greek cavalry are just kind of useless in my opinion. And then we have access to elephants, uh, um, war elephants, and armored elephants at uh, city, large city, and huge city. Uh, so elephants are again very good, not necessarily very good in the east because we're going to be fighting a lot of skirmishing units, a lot of spearmen, phalanx units. Uh, they're kind of hard to use against those armies, but I may train them when we see fit for sure. They're definitely very strong, especially against the Romans. If we ever have no pet and fight the Romans, um, elephants are going to be very strong for that. Uh, other big units that we have are the cataphracts. We get these at large cities. Cataphracts are very strong. 18 armor. 18 armor. Holy crap. Uh, their attack might not look so strong, but they have a 9 charge bonus, and their uh, secondary melee weapon actually is armor piercing. So they're pretty good at actually fighting in melee because of their 18 armor and an armor piercing weapon. Pretty good at fighting armored infantry in melee. Um, still don't want to fight spearmen with them, but, you know. And then finally we have the companion cavalry, which are kind of a... Uh, more aggressive version of cataphracts, you could say. Uh, less armor, but a little bit stronger of attack, as well as um, a little bit more stamina. So that's what we have going for them. The Seleucid units there in the stable. Uh, well, our archery range is pretty weak compared to other Greeks. We just have Peltists, Archers, and Onagers. So nothing too spe special there. Uh, but again, archers are always good, so I'll never pass up a good archer unit. Uh, dockyard is standard, civilized nation dockyard. Uh, we have three temples. Our first temple is a armor temple, similar to the Scipii uh, Temple of Vulcan. Uh, the first three levels upgrade are heavy light weapons and armor, and then we start getting experience at the fourth and fifth rank. Get an extra bonus to law, which is nice. And we also have a straight happiness temple, which gives us happiness, and then population growth bonus and law. And we have a health temple, which gives us health as well as happiness. And again, health um, adds plus five. Each, each percentage of health adds to happiness as well as to growth. So 5% health gives us 0.5% population growth as well as 5% happiness. 
So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, health is good for countering Squalor and so forth. But uh, generally, I'm not going to be building this one too much because I don't. Cities grow fast enough as it is a lot of the time. I don't really have problems with that. Um, so, not really a point in building that, in my opinion. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, introductions to our territory, introductions to what uh, this campaign is going to look like. Um, let us start setting up our original regions. Let's just, let's just start from the east and move west. I think is going to be probably the best way to do about it. Let's start. Let's start at Terha. 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 Bro. Terha. Down here. So let's see. We start pretty much this garrison in every city. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to. These Peltas are actually quite expensive, as you can see. The Peltas are 170 upkeep. Uh, so we're probably going to be disbanding a lot of our Peltists early, just because they're way too expensive. Likewise in here, we're going to be disbanding them. And probably going to be disbanding another unit here. And I think we're going to send these Militia Cab up north. And disbanding those units gave us enough population growth to... Give us enough, uh, enough population, sorry, to uh, upgrade to a town, so that's what we'll do. Upgrading to a town will help remove that 20% culture penalty we're getting. As well as upgrading our city, removing some squalor. So it's just all around a good idea. And we can also put a port in here to connect with these other regions. Get a little internal trade, wouldn't hurt. But this guy's going to be moving up north. Um, Pasargade is probably going to do a similar deal. They're already a large town. Ah, but they have this uh, temple we don't want. We're going to get rid of that. Put in our own temple of happiness. Mm. Questions? Yeah, I think I think we're gonna do the same same strategy. We're gonna get rid of these guys here and send our militia cav up north. The militia cav can move faster. Cavalry units move faster on the campaign map, so we can get them in a position easier. On Persepolis, I'm probably going to keep the three guys just because we need the garrison. What's our tax rate? Uh, could we? No, we should we should keep it at low. Persepolis can try to keep it at low. Not a very happy town. We're probably going to have some riots in there. It might rebel, but uh, we'll try to keep the peace for as long as we can. It'll be a good. It makes a good amount of money for us, so we do want to keep it as long as possible. We're getting a hefty chunk of money uh, from it, so definitely not having a rebel would be good. Okay, Susa over here going to do a similar thing. What is Susa's size? It's a decent sized little town. Um, yeah, you have the wrong temple as well. Do you want this temple? And get rid of these guys, these guys, and move our cab out. I'm gonna move up this way with the cab. So they'll be a little unhappy for now, that's okay. Similar here, we're gonna do a disband, disband, move out strategy. Yeah, so in the east, I'm gonna be disbanding a lot of our units. Uh, in the west, we're gonna be keeping most of them and trying to use them. Uh, but the east, we're just going to be kind of holding out early on. And we'll come back to the east later, as need be. I think it's going to be my strategy. So we have some nice units in here. I don't want to disband these Phalanx Pikes. Uh, but we don't really have a general to really use this army with. I think for now we're going to go up to Seleucia with it. I'll actually keep this unit of Peltists. So you can stay in here with those two units, and we can move north. That'll be a good army for us to keep. I think that's fine. We'll keep the army in Seleucia as well. Oh, is there no river crossing there? Oh, okay. I guess the only river crossing is up there. Gotcha. I was thinking there was a river crossing on this side of the city, but there is not! There is no river crossing! Silly me. Okay, so yeah, so let's say we're just gonna keep these guys here for now. We'll group them up next turn. That's fine. 
And we're going to pull this cab down there. I think Nineveh is going to have these guys disband as well. I should know the hotkey for this. I keep forgetting. There's, there's a hotkey to just disband all the selected units. Uh, can't think of it at the moment. So yeah, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be building happiness temples pretty much in all these cities over here to start with. Uh, well, oh, we already start with a good happiness temple here. That's nice. I like that. And yeah, we can keep that temple. That's fine. Not super ideal, but maybe it can be a good city to produce units later. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move this militia cab over here to the north to help with Parthia, and then get rid of these two units as well. I keep thinking it's delete, but it's not delete. It's like I don't know. I may have gotten rid of the hotkey on accident when I changed to WASD controls. That's definitely possible. If it was D before, then yeah, I can't do it anymore. Oh well. Did we deal with this city? We did not. We're gonna send this motion cab up as well to assist and then do a similar disbanding. Gonna kinda look similar for most of these regions, but I could I could skip this and just meet you guys when I'm done, but I, I want you guys to see what I'm doing initially here. Hmm, this town's probably gonna riot. We can get some peasants in here as well. We don't want it to riot if we can help. Uh, and Alexander here's got a good chunk of force. I like that. We're gonna move up to Bactra up here because Parthia is up here. We want to be in position to fight Parthia relatively quickly. Uh, so let's keep two of those guys in there. Move north. Make sure we get our correct temple in here. So we're gonna basically be trying to hold against these guys. And we're gonna keep all these units in here. To use with uh, Alexander. Got a good chunk of force up here. Be sending a couple more cav up north as well. Probably not gonna be enough to hold against Parthia for too long, but we'll try to hold as long as possible. Would be a good idea. Okay. Terra grew. We already deal, dealt with that. Okay, go over to Safia here. So Safia is on the border. If you follow this road up, you can actually get to Armenia territory here. Um, so as a result, I'm going to keep three lovely pikes, but we're going to take the Mosh cab out. Probably send that north. I'm going to get rid of the Peltus as well. But we're going to keep three garrison as opposed to the two. And we can keep our tax rate up, which is nice. Amelia. I'm um, going to do a similar thing. Get rid of the Peltists. Send these guys down. That's going to cause our city to grow, which is nice. These guys are going to go down to Seleucia. We're going to kind of form an army here. Hopefully he has a son. Let's actually check our family tree. Hmm. Doesn't really have a son. We might get some adoptions, though, which would be nice. Oh, those will likely go to our new capital over here. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this army yet, but we're gonna congregate here by Seleucia first. Um, while I'm here, we're gonna move our diplomat up toward, towards Armenia just to see. Maybe they want friendship. I don't know. Seems unlikely. Try to keep tax rates as high as we can. We need the money early on. Uh, Mytilene is actually not on the border. It may look like it's on the border, but they have to get through Mazaka first. These mountains block them from actually getting to this territory here. So we can actually get rid of more units than usual. Although, no. No, it's, it's a little too far away to use on the western front. So we'll just disband two units like we have been. But we will send this cab towards the western front. Not sure how useful it's going to be, but you never know. These guys are on the front line, though. We do not want to reduce our garrison too much. 
I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. And we can actually increase the tax rate here, which is nice. Should paved roads for a little bit of money. Not too much. But um I'm just going to have to stop this temple for now. Not super important. But. Alright. Looking good over there. Forgot to build a building here. Oh, we got mines available. That's nice. I don't know if I have the money to do mines right now. Oh, but that would be so valuable. Yeah, let's let's do the mines. Let's 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 risk it for the biscuit, guys. Getting those mines will really help our income, as long as we can keep that settlement. It's not on the border, like I said, so it should be safe for a while, as long as we keep it happy enough. Uh, Dura Ipupus can uh, get some units disbanded. These guys are going to be sending west, pretty much all the way west from over here. They're a little too far from the east really help out the east. Um, what do we want to build in Seleucia and Antioch? I think we'll leave that. Our largest settlements will leave building until later. Back to where we didn't build something. Alright, we want the new temple. So, Hira... It's actually a village. We need to convert that ASAP. And again, disband. Disband and roll out. Probably over to Damascus. Damascus is going to need some help. Probably be fine with just disbanding the Peltus there, which will actually allow it to grow, which is nice. I should increase the tax rate as well. Keep moving our militia cab to the west. Palmyra we can probably make that grow as well. Yes, we can. So we're going to get a lot of large towns early on. That's nice. Get rid of one of these lobby pikes as well. We don't need that. Just keep a basic garrison in all these settlements here. And then Odessa, we're going to kind of do the same thing. Odessa's not going to grow, though. We'll get a lot closer to growing. You guys can come in right here, right next to the, right next to the zone. We can actually build some farms. Probably wouldn't be too bad. Or a trader. I think the farms give us more money right now. Yeah. Okay, that's looking good. So Alexander, or uh, who, who's this guy over here? What is, what is your name? Aristocracus, wrist wrist cracker, we'll call him. Aristarchus, Aristarchus, wrist cracker. I think wrist cracker is a more suitable name anyway. He's going to be leading forces here. We start with stone walls over in Saris and Pergamon, which is actually really helpful for defense. Um, oh, we can build mines here as well. Yeah, let's do that. We want that right away. Oh, and mines in Pergamon. Yes, please. Get those mines, girl. We're going to start congregating forces here, and we're going to attack Egypt, which is right here. Yeah, so we actually start, we actually get, yeah, we start with the te Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, which gives us a religious building discount. We actually start with the Hanging Gardens of Babylon as well, so that's nice. We have access to these two wonders that are very close to us. One of them we'll definitely get. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to attack the Greek cities right away, but this is a good wonder. Although we don't have a lot of sea trade starting out. We could develop some good sea trade down here. Uh, but we don't have actually a lot of sea trade over in the west. Kind of just have Sardis here sea trading right now. But, I don't know. It'll be okay. We will get rid of these Peltas here, and we're actually going to move out both of those units. Population should be happy enough. Oh, we can't actually walk over there. Mm. How do I walk over there? I have to walk through Mytilene to get over here. 
Interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe we build a ship here as well. Probably be useful anyway. I think we're going to send these ships over as well. And Philip's going to keep an eye on our Egypt neighbors to the south here. They don't start with a lot, but you never know. Could be causing issues. Sit our navy over there. There's Salamis. And they have Pamphylia here. And I think one more territory around here somewhere. Not exactly sure where the cities are. We'll figure that out, though. Not to worry. So we start with quite a big garrison here, and I'm not too worried about our military chances. But you never know. Congregate some forces there. Get rid of our Peltists. Um... I think I'm actually going to lead... Demetrius here is actually going to lead an assault. Oh, he can't walk. What? He can't walk that way. Okay, you need to get some boats as well, then. Guess I shouldn't have moved that navy out. Oh, well. Um... Hmm. No, that's fine. No, you guys are going to go west, then. I think. What do we do with the Tarsus units? I guess you can actually go down to... Oh, you grew him. Nice. Don't want to stifle growth. Actually, I'm going to defend, I'm going to, this city's going to be more likely to exist for us in the future. So I'm going to invest in that as opposed to the other city. Yeah, these guys are going to go this way then. I think the guys in Tarth Tarth Tarthith are going to make their slow way over here. And then we're going to kind of probably attack Sidon. Relatively quickly. So that's pretty much all of our money gone. We've expanded a lot of towns. And how's our income looking now? <clears throat> if we look at the construction cost... Minus 14,000 from construction and recruitment. So we're actually making quite a bit more money now. Our army of people went down quite a bit. We're still going to be losing money, but we're going to have money next turn. So that's the important part. We need to have some some funds to work with. But we do need we do need this ship here. This guy needs to be able to get over. Now, just interesting thing is is uh, that I did add land bridges to this map. I guess I should say that. So I can actually walk over to Propontis here. From two different routes and walk on to Mytilene. And you might notice that there's, like on roads here, there's like a, these little stepping stone islands that you can walk onto from Crete as well. Uh, that's to assist the AI in actually taking over parts of the map. And uh, that'll actually add some challenge as well because the AI will actually progressively attack us. So I expect the Greeks or Macedon to attack us, or even Thrace maybe might cause some issues in our western hemisphere, which is why I'm not sure about this plan and if it'll actually work, but if we can take out Egypt before we get hit too hard by too many factions, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. And holy cow, we're still on our first turn. It's already been about a half hour. <laughs> so I'm telling you, being a big nation starts off kind of slow, but it'll speed up here. We don't have a lot of stuff to do anymore. We figured out our initial turns. That's the important part. I do want to keep some of the Peltas because Peltas are useful, but I'm not going to keep a lot of them. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of this one unit yeah, of Peltas. Okay. Saving and ending the turn. 
Ah, oh, we got a candidate for adoption already. There we go. And Sardis. There we go. Nice. We're the largest faction, no doubt. Most advanced faction, no doubt. Oh, that's looking good. A lot of construction done. Uh, I did see... Probably first thing we want to hit is Hira here. Make sure Hira is growing. Reasonably well. Make sure all our units are going over here. We're actually going to kind of try to meet up here, I think. Keep marching. Okay, so we're going to be building up for the big attack. Uh, do, what do we want in here? We don't really need anything in here, do we? Unless we wanted elephants. Phalanx pikes might, make, but might be nice to have. Question is, should I invest in this? I think I think I should invest in Phalanx Pike production. I think that's worthwhile. And in a lot of these areas in the west, we're going to be investing money in. So, Aidan, for example, let's get some farms. Dura Epopolis can grow. Oh, I forgot to make that grow in F's turn. I'm silly. I'm silly goose. Susie is unhappy. Make sure it stays happy, that would be good. Probably don't actually need to build that. Congregate some troops. Um, right. We can kind of just group up in Seleucia. There's the general, general plan. Terra's doing all right. You know you're out of sight. So you guys can keep moving up north. Take them, take them eight years to get there, but they will get there. So that's what's important. Jeff Cav are not particularly great against fighting Parthia, but they're better than nothing, so we're going to take it. Uh, you can build a port? What the heck? Oh, it says connect up here. Oh, sorry. It's like, you can build a port here? What are you talking about? But okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm, not going to be investing a lot of money over in the east here. Unless I didn't find it absolutely necessary. Like Persepolis here is a little unhappy. Let's see what we can do to fix. Oh boy. Yeah, we can try to get that and a unit of peasants maybe. Well, we start with some good buildings in here as well. Yeah, we start with a uh, city barracks and a cavalry stables and archery range. So this would be a good city to try to keep. Probably pour some money in Persepolis to keep that, obviously. Babylon and Seleucia. These three these three settlements are main ones I'm concerned about over in the east. These are the ones I'm going to defend. Yeah, they all have stone walls too, so it should make it easier to do so. Uh, just a question of what else do we want to spend your money on? Train some units in Antioch. Maybe we should get some roads in Seleucia. Or Babylon. No, probably Seleucia. We can afford that, yeah. Gotta help out. That's actually quite a bit of money as well. Actually, what which one would be better for money? About the same. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we should. I think farms are more valuable. Quite honestly, at this stage. Let's make sure we're building stuff everywhere. 
that I care about. Okay, we can get one more farms. And yes, I do mean that in that sense. Uh, Cherax will be reasonably defended. Maybe we can start our trading empire over here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, li I like that. Start a trading empire here. Maybe we can take off... It'd be kind of nice to have three cities doing it at one time. Hmm. You know, maybe... I, okay, I'm going to pass up the city barracks, actually. I'm addicted to trade. I like trade. Let's get some port action. Now, it's not going to say we're going to get a lot of trade initially, which we're not, but... Since everybody's building these ports, they'll actually come in quite handy. I'll build some peasants here as well. And then Terra can start working on the port next turn. And then we'll have, I think that's all four regions here on this little sea. The Red Sea, I guess. What is this? No, this isn't the Red Sea. This is the Red Sea. I don't know what sea this is. Not actually sure. But uh, whatever sea this is. Get all four ports on that, have trade authority here on this water, would be nice. Some internal growth in trade, that's pretty good, seems good to me. So that does leave us with some extra cash, and look at look at that, we can actually build a tier 2 temple with this cash. Um, maybe that's worth doing up here in Bactra. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're building Persepolis, we're already building the thing, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth really worth building in Bactra. I think we might just hold off. We could build farms in Antioch. Yeah, you know what? That's worthwhile. That's worthwhile. Extra growth in Antioch. Ah, and Egypt moved out some troops already. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Okay. Let's do our army movements. I'm surely hoping Macedon isn't going to be a annoying, but uh, likely they are. Okay, so we should we should be able to move out next turn here with a good force. Uh, do we want to keep Aristakos over here? Maybe we should have him garrison... Actually, hold on. I'm thinking he should garrison... Pergamum, actually. And then this guy can lead the army. Because this guy's a really good commander. Or a really good... Uh, oh. Well, he's, he's, he's a decent... Governor. And Pergamum could really benefit from him, I think. At least that's my plan. But, uh... The ship's gonna come over and help us transport as necessary. Okay, but I think that's all we're going to do for this episode of Rome Total War as the Seleucids. So join us next time as our ambitions really start off. Uh, pretty much was just most of an intro episode today, getting everything set up, getting things going. But uh, next time, we'll uh, continue onward in glory. So join us next time when all that and more happens. This has been your host, Braden Lord, signing out. Have a great day.